This is a module of uh, 22 kilowatt uh, of power. Is its uh, dimensions are 40 centimeters of length, 45 centimeters of depth, and uh, 93 centimeters of height. Uh, when we install the plants uh, to sell the heat to our clients, uh, we control the plants from remote, from our headquarters. Um, and through this uh, system, we can uh, command and regulate the uh, operation of uh, our uh, plants. The plant uh, is made of many of these modules. For example, uh, putting uh, uh, ten of them one beside the other, uh, we will have uh, in four meters we will have a two hundred. Uh, kilowatts of rating uh, with the same depth and height of a box. In this uh, dome that we see here we have the inlet and outlet of the fluid that goes to be heated and uh, these columns that you see here are the uh, neutron bubbles. Uh, they serve to detect that uh, there are no neutron emitted by the ICAT. And uh, this uh, instrument that you see here is the counter of uh, uh, microsieverts per hour to control and detect that uh, there are there is no emission of uh, uh, ionizing radiations so that uh, the uh, running of the ICAT is perfectly safe. Let's take a look at the inside. Here is a video of the ECAT SK operating in a factory. The screen is set up into a set of seven views of an operating ECAT SK. View number one is the box in the upper left corner. This is the oscilloscope's video from which we can see that the voltage of electric energy that enters the ECAT SK covers five squares. We can read in the top left that the value of the side of every square is 50, five zero millivolts. This means that one square is worth 50 millivolts. As you can see, the graphic of the oscilloscope covers five squares. Therefore, the voltage of current that goes to the ECAT is 250 millivolts. Here you can see the ohm meter which indicates the value in ohms of the resistor put along the cable that connects the control panel with the ECAT. There are 78.1 ohms. View number two is the upper middle area of the screen. This is the control panel you can see in the front the radiator that recovers the energy used to cool the circuit, making warm air for heating the room. The display where you read 20 is an amperometer and voltmeter. The number you read currently by default indicates the amperes of the current that goes to the control panel, which is 20. You can see in the view of the controller that the operator is displaying the voltage that is going into the ECAT. As you can see, we can read 19 volts. Before, we have read 20 amps. From the well-known Ohm's equation, we know that watts equals volts times amps. Therefore, we have 19 volts times 20 amps.
that makes 380 watts. Therefore, we are consuming 380 watt hours per hour. This control panel is extremely reliable and robust and realized by means of an industrialized system. It is designed to be controlled from a remote location. Leonardo Corporation supplies assemblies of these modules to be installed in industrial settings and they are controlled from the headquarters of Leonardo Corporation. The clients pay only for the thermal energy that is supplied from the ECATs. View number three is in the upper right corner of the screen. Here are shown the bubble columns to detect the emission of neutrons. No emission of neutrons has been detected beyond the background. Should neutrons be emitted, then you would see big bubbles. Here is the ECAT SK lurking out of the blue body. The light is very intense and it is not possible to look at it without eye protection with special glasses DIN grade 14. View number six is all the way on the right in the middle. This is the measurement gauge of the microsievert per hour. It detects ionizing radiations. The value during the test ranged from 0 0.06 to 0 0.12 microsievert per hour. These values are well below the limits of danger. They are about 1,000 times below the limit of danger, which is in the order of millisievert per hour, while we are in the range of microsievert per hour. In this photo, you see the monitor of the thermometers that measure the following. In channel room is the room temperature. In channel one is the temperature at the radiator that recovers the heat dissipated by the control panel. In channel eight is the temperature of the air in the heat exchanger of the reactor. The ECAT SK is in the nice box that we have here. It gets installed in your factory and it provides heat. You simply pay for the heat you use. It is a well-made economical heating system. It is an exciting new technology and it does not put carbon into the atmosphere. But the most important fact is that it will save you money and it is available now.